to experience incapacitation on the flight. Um, these are the first steps you need to do. Step one, you need to check if they're responding. Hello? Hello? If they do not respond, you need to make sure you put the pilot in an upright position and you need to make sure that his or her hands are on the shoulders and you need to harness the hands in like this so that they don't move the hands and hit any controls on the flight. Then after you've done that, you need to lock the seatbelt in at the side, like so, to make sure that it does not move through the flight. And after that, you need to make sure that the seat is smoothed back so that the pilot does not hit any controls or anything on board. Just carry on and I'll do the legs. Oh. The next step is you need to make sure that the legs are away from any controls on the ground so that it doesn't hit any controls as there are a lot of controls in the cockpit. So you need to move legs like so. And you need to make sure that the head's tilt back and you need to check for breathing of any unconsciousness to check if the breathing or the pulses. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sorry to tell you that due to some problems, you are diverting the aircraft back to Palmer Airport. Once we are there, we will transfer you onto another flight. Thank you for your patience. Landing gear out. 20, yep. Cruising altitude, 20,000 feet. 20,000 feet. Nose position. Up. Nose position. Up. Nose position. Down. Ready for descent? Yep. I'll leave it to it now, I'll get you touch with air traffic.